you got me. This <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. It can't be that hard. It's been 19 months. Hello, beta testers. After 19 months, it is April 2022, and Crystal Dynamics Marvel's Avengers still performs like trash. And as the bugs that I've documented from the beginning will show, these problems are not new. A posing character's Tokyo drifting through levels. In this two Archer Kamala Khan game, check. Constant crashes, just like at launch, check. Players still running in place, stuck, just like at launch, check. Enemy spawning under the map, just like at launch, falling through the map. Even the devs did this one on a stream. Did bit people getting stuck, just like the devs did on stream. Assets simply not loading. Sometimes the map won't even load. Broken animations for expensive paid takedowns in a non-free-to-play game, just like at launch. Imagine having a brain so girthy, so throbbing that you had the foresight to watermark an image because you know in the future when nothing changed and the shills gargling that come had something to say to you, you could just tap the screen. I'm glad I'm not so clueless and out of touch that I'd find a way to make Marvel unappealing, unprofitable, and ugly. But I'm not so stupid that a two villain archer game with a campaign that you could not replay for six months at launch was ever something that I believed was worthy of $60. Thank you gamers for avoiding this cancer like the plague because this never deserved support. And you'll get a good Marvel game when Insomniac is ready. Crystal Dynamics verbatim has told buyers that if they're not actively playing this buggy cancer, then they don't in fact care about their feedback. Fact. Crystal Dynamics' lonely, triggered staff has falsely accused players of hate directly in private messages. Gaslighting, accusing players of hindering their ability to make the game good. Fact. Why? Because Crystal Dynamics lied and sold XP boosters after nerfing XP going back on their previous claims when tricking players into buying. Time and time again, triggered lonely staff of Crystal Dynamics have tried and failed to gaslight the community and imply recognition of bugs is harassment and abuse. Crystal Dynamics exposed IP addresses and had to be forced. Call Paul Tassie if you confused to simply communicate this fact. All while shills cheered, swallowed, and defended. Don't like it, don't play it, they cried. But what they really meant was don't like it, don't talk about it. And some of them forget how far their hopes, their expectations have fallen. Remember when a horde mode might have been on the table? Increasing rewards, a, a helicarrier mission. These assets were already in the game. Remember patrol, remember cloning labs, remember loadouts, remember thinking maybe we could get gear modding or recalibration. Not in this game. And people want to say, oh, it's because of the engine. No, 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 no. It's because of Crystal Dynamics. In 2014, six years before Marvel's Avengers came out, Bungie crafted a better base for an ongoing live service than this game could manage, even with all the studio's help. If you didn't think Join in Progress was a big deal, then we're all so sorry that nobody was hired among all of you to know better than to ship a buggy, one enemy type, one emote at a time Marvel game. This got exactly what it deserved. All the valid criticism weirdos called hate was deserved, and in fact was probably kinder than it could have been considering most people were not willing to subject themselves to this for long enough to actually find out how boring and broken it was. But you know me, I'm all about truth, and I'm all about proof. Which is why Crystal Dynamics' lack of acknowledgement of the crippling bugs and crashes is so funny, especially with developers waxing moronic with unnecessary statements when there's nothing to report. Lego games were more imaginative and could remember synergy attacks as the Marvel Ultimate Alliance forefathers before them had. Your Hulk can't lift a vehicle, can't have a transformation emote, literally 
any other game would have done this. Ugly models with unnecessary tweaks that made them worse. And only the MCU skins, as I prophesied, are selling. Your woke-ass desexification of the already ugly characters just seals the deal. You were too boneheaded to make money from the start, but Misa still excited about the bubble separating you people from reality bursting. The issue isn't that people don't want to play your Kamala barf game. It's that your Let's Just Fight Robots Avengers game is unplayable for thousands more reasons than one. Remember at launch when you immediately patched out the respawning high priority target? Your game had no end game, no campaign replay, bugs aplenty, but you still had to take this. Later, you would literally use Chadwick Boseman's death to stall for time. I knew then that saying chimpanzees were running the show at Crystal Dynamics would be insulting to the chimps. Devs out here literally saying things like, Pretty much every patch for every game you've ever played goes live with some number of unresolved bugs. Like anybody was contesting that. Stop and ask yourself if there's enough medication in the world to give somebody who thinks this kind of nonsense excuses 19 months of a game as broken, if not more now, than it was at launch. What you smoking, PPs? It would have cost this moron nothing to shut the fuck up, but instead they cranked that, um, actually, all patches have bugs. Wow, little man. Does this dude use this line on females? Well, actually, other men have small dick too. Actually, on average, all men are not that tall. I am thankful that I am not semen suckling as a shill and eager to defend this anti-consumer swindle because I am not allergic to reality. There is a time for optimism, patience, grace, and there is a time to hold people accountable. Beta testers don't ever let fools make you apologize for being able to read what their illiterate asses cannot. Do not be silent. Verify, document, and hold these scumbags accountable. Make people that you pay uphold their promises. When likes don't dictate your actions and you're not happily receiving hands up your ass like the puppet some of these motherfuckers are proud to be, progress can finally occur. Thank you for having standards. Remember, people with arguments that can't survive out their echo chamber can never silence you. You mold the future with what you will and will not tolerate. Fans getting the service they deserve is what's worthy. And I'm grateful the internet will help the industry remember how not to make a Marvel Avengers game, which players do want, just not by Crystal Dynamics. Just scrolling through this subreddit gives you such a look at the pathetic state of this game. But if you had four months no roadmap and devs claiming harassment that they can't prove again, you're way closer to bingo than I am. It's like clockwork though, right? It's like professional victims. Frankly, I expect them to go back on more of their promises and then claim harassment again when people simply say, that's not what you said before. So I'll just be here collecting clips to refute the imaginary narratives that these devs cook up. Sorry that critique still isn't toxic hate, but that's just a reality rule. I'm sure those guys can create their own rules in their echo chambers. I do love you to death, and I can't wait to see how this fails next.